Hi everybody, I'm Jim Skelly and this is The Global Conversation. It's the third of our mini lectures for the fall semester in 2011 and I'm actually recording this video from Kuseg in Hungary. I have spent a day or two with the students at the Institute for Social and European Studies here uh, who are also participating in the global conversation this semester and have been doing so for several semesters in the past. Um, as you may know from my recent email, I hope you've seen my recent email, if you have not to date given us your learning circle preferences, please do so immediately. Uh, we intend to launch the learning circles this Sunday evening uh, and you will see which learning circle we hope we've given you your top choice uh, but some cases as you may well know we uh, are because we want balance both in uh, terms of the geographic membership of the uh, of the circles but also because we want uh, people from different cultures etc who will give us different insights into the particular projects that you choose to pursue. So if you have not sent us your choices, please do so immediately. Uh, you can send them to Jenna Goodhand. Her email address I will reiterate in the, um, in the email that I send you after this video, but it is jenna.goodhand at globalconversationcourses.org. Thanks for that, and I, I really do hope you'll... We've got uh, the vast majority of people in it, but there's still enough of a number of people who have not um, been uh, sending us their preferences. I think perhaps they're on holiday. Um, uh, so we do need you to, to do that as, as soon as possible. Now, um, I'm wanting to make some emphasis this week on a couple of um, uh, items for you. Um, some of you have already taken a look at um, the century of the self. I, I hope you've been doing that because it gives you a sense of how deeply uh, th th this documentary, how deeply um, implicated we all are in consumer society. And it gives you a sense of the history of uh, public relations and how we became consumers with the help of certain agencies. Um, I also want to recommend to you looking at uh, uh, Slavo Žižek. Uh, there's a video um, with him. It's called uh, First as Tragedy, Then as Farce. And if you want um, an ironic take on consumerism, uh, look at the short video, the five-minute video called The Good Consumer. Uh, it tells you how to pursue consumption properly. Um, also, a couple of other things, um, along with the Weissman and Diamond readings, do take a look at both the articles by Derek Jensen and Michael Maniatis. Both of them emphasize the limits to correcting the problems that we face through individual action. So Jensen's uh, article is, is titled, Forget Shorter Showers. It's not going to save the world. It doesn't mean you shouldn't take shorter showers, but it does mean that we need a structural solution to the problem associated with over water use and other problems, right? Again, this is something I emphasize over and over in this class. Look at the broader context. Don't just think of things as private troubles or private issues. Recognize that they have their roots in the social structure that we inhabit and that the only way to solve the issues is through political action, which defines them, first of all, as public issues. The same thing is true of Michael Maniates' article, uh, which he builds around. Uh, you know, he, he suggests that individualism is part of our a problem, and he uh, does a wonderful critique of a children's story by Dr. Seuss that many of you may have read, which is called The Lorax. So I think you'll enjoy, those of you who want to be a bit more critical in your assessment of the world, 
you will enjoy this critique of the Lorax uh, written by Dr. Seuss some years ago. And if you're moving ahead at a more rapid pace, um, I would suggest you just continue on to the next theme, which is theme number five, which looks at our Earth. And there, um, I, you know, we have a couple of things uh, for you. Um, uh, one of the more positive ones is um, the film Home. I think there are variations of, in terms of uh, it's available in several languages and you can click on um, one version or another depending upon your linguistic ability in these languages. Um, but the visuals are stunning and part of the idea encapsulated in the title of the film is to get us to recognize that this beautiful planet, which the visuals certainly capture, is indeed our home. Now, uh, the other one of the other ones is a there's a very interesting piece uh, um, on um, uh, atmospheric aerosols and uh, their climate effects, and we will be looking more and more at uh, climate issues in the next uh, few weeks. Um, but also, uh, we just you know, you've been reading, I hope, uh, Alan Weissman's book, uh, The World Without Us. Uh, you might want to go ahead and take a look at this wonderful cartoon called Your House Without You. Um, it shows you what happens when um, a house is abandoned and nature takes over. Over time, nature will even pull down the skyscrapers of New York City uh, if um, we don't you know, make shall we say, a better compact um, with, uh, with uh, nature. So, look, um, do please, if any questions, any concerns, please drop me a note. Um, and uh, please do send in your learning circle preferences. We'd like everybody to be on board when we um, actually launch them on Sunday evening. Thanks very much, and I hope you'll have a good week. I'll be talking to you again next week. All the best.